Bollywood princess, known for her natural acting prowess, graceful latkas and jhatkas, versatility and a beautiful smile. Please give a round of applause to Sonakshi Sinha. Over the seven years, you've dabbled in different genres, you know, be it romance, comedy, action thriller. Which genre you think you take naturally to? I think anything that is, uh, you know, close to me in personal life, I feel somewhere where I have to portray a very realistic and relatable character. Uh, I always like playing such roles but of course like um, action films I love watching, I love being a part of. Last year both my films were action films where I got to do the action and I really enjoyed it because I am a very sporty person by nature so any physical activity comes uh, you know easily and naturally to me so I really enjoyed that as well but honestly I feel like I am a, um, a moldable actor, uh, a director can put me in any role and I will understand from him what he would like me to portray and I'll be able to do it. <laughs> Fantastic. There has been a surge in women-centric cinema today. You have been part of some fantastic films like Lutera, Akira and now Noori as well. Noori yes. as well. Uh, yeah, I think it's a really, really good time for us girls in uh, uh, you know Hindi cinema because there's such amazing characters, such amazing roles, such amazing films that are you know, made keeping them in mind. Earlier it only used to be uh, keeping the male protagonist Absolutely. in mind. Uh, things are changing now. I feel like the audiences are also more open to watching different kinds of, um, you know, things on screen. So they've accepted it openly, you know, that uh, that shows by the success of some of the films with female protagonists Absolutely. that have done so well. So I think it's a good era for women in cinema. And you are there. Absolutely. It's the best time for me as well. Today you are considered a role model for young women out there. Considering the brave stance you take and also your fight against the trolls. Mm -hmm. So what message do you have for other young women out there? I think it's very important uh, to always stand up for yourself irrespective of uh, you know where you come from, who you are, uh, whether you're a boy or a girl, uh, if somebody says or does anything wrong uh, about you, about somebody else that you don't agree with, I think it's very very important to stand up and uh, you know uh, put your opinion out there and I feel today's girls are um, you know all for equality, all for uh, standing up for themselves, taking care of themselves, protecting themselves and um, you know, so there's a lot of, lot of issues that they voice their opinion on and I'm really happy about that. I'm really happy to see that um, because I, I've uh, honestly been brought up, I have two brothers and I'm very lucky that and very fortunate that my parents, you know, brought me up the same way that they brought up my brothers. Um, but I know that where I come from, the country that I live in, a lot of girls are not as fortunate. Right. So I feel... Um, we should be able to support each other and you know bring each other up so yeah that is always a stand that I have taken and I always will uh, I don't think I've ever taken anybody's nonsense mm -hmm. and I will not <laughs> and uh, you're never afraid is it because you know these right now we have this situation at times you know trolling has become a you know fearful factor mm -hmm. so how do you deal with your fears Honestly, not really. I think uh, trolling is the most lowest form of uh, uh, attacking someone there right. is out there because it, they're faceless, right? Yes. Uh, you don't know who they are, where they come from. Some people don't even have their real names. They make fake profiles. Right. So it's. I think it's the lowest, lower than lowest form of, uh, mm. uh, you know, putting yourself or your opinion out there because it's faceless. And uh, honestly, I don't pay much attention to it. Uh, I just believe that, I strongly believe that you should not say something to someone online what you cannot say to their face. Okay. Because I swear, if anybody would say something to me that I don't appreciate or don't agree with to my face, I would do more than just type back. I would hit back. <laughs> what has have been the advantages and disadvantages of being a star kid? Mm, I think, um, well for us, um, the family that we have been brought up in, it was a very, very normal childhood. Uh, people always have this uh, uh, conception of we had a very lavish and very uh, uh, different uh, upbringing and childhood from most others but for me it was very very normal uh, as compared to even the friends that I studied with whose parents were not actors. Yeah. It's just their profession. For us yeah. they were always our parents. They were never like stars or actors or yes a politician. For me, he'll always be my father. Yeah. So, our thought process is never like that. Honestly, and uh, the, the advantages can only, advantage can only be that, that you get your first meeting or your 
connected you're well connected you know everyone because that that is the circle that your parents hang out in yeah. but honestly uh, the challenges come after that where you have to sustain yourself where you have to prove yourself uh, where you have to face comparisons yeah. each and every day to your famous parents yeah. Um, so yeah, it is. It is uh, more difficult than it looks, <laughs> you know, from the outside. But uh, it honestly just depends on how you deal with it. You were in Australia recently. Yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah. So how was the experience? How did you like the country? It was amazing. I love Sydney. In fact, it's one of my favorite uh, places to visit. Uh, in fact, the last year I've gone there twice. I went in Jan and I went in uh, December. Uh, November or December, yeah. So I really, really love the place, and uh, it helps that my best friend, my bestest friend, has gotten married and moved there. Oh. <laughs> so I go to visit her. Okay. Yeah, and I really, really love the place. The people are so warm. Um, it's got such beautiful sights. Um, you know, beaches. Uh, I'm a full beach bum, okay. so I love spending time on the beach. So yeah, I like going there. You debuted with Salman Khan with the bank. You're part of the bank tour, being led by Salman Khan. Yeah. So, will we see you perform with him on stage? Well, I sure hope so. Uh, we're just in the process of uh, locking down our performances and who's going to be doing what. But uh, I'm sure that if we're going together, the Dabang couple will definitely make an appearance, reappearance. Uh, you know, because I've, in fact, I get so many tweets from so many people who are already going to watch the show, who've got their tickets, and um, you know, they're all like, "Oh, we're looking forward to seeing you and Salman on stage." So, of course, I would love to. Uh, be on the same stage as him again. Even Prabhu Deva, yeah. the dancing idol, <laughs> is there. So, will you be matching? Would you like to match steps with him, yes, or do you have to fact. practice a lot? Ah, uh, well, I have done a song with him. Uh, honestly, when I started off, uh, um, before I started doing that song, he was. It's obviously a very daunting thing, but yes. having worked with him in three films, getting to know him as a person, he's somebody who always believes that you should dance from your heart and your body will just follow. And that is the biggest lesson of dance that I've learned from him and I think that just makes everything easier. <laughs> so even when I did the song with him, he was very cooperative, he, uh, you know, it was it was fun to match steps with him, so I wasn't thinking like you know it's pressurizing me or oh, it's Prabhu Deva I'm dancing next to. I was like, no, this is a person who loves to dance. I love to dance. So let's just dance. Oh, great! What do you think uh, uh, will be the highlights of this The Bang The Tour concert? I think the entire concert is going to be something that you know fans out there are really going to look forward to. Um, I feel like all of us going together have. Um, you know something to offer uh, something that they can look forward to and of course it's a, a really really big tour so um, I think it's in its entirety it's going to be very very amazing fantastic and what would your message be to the fans who are dying to see you out there don't die <laughs> I'm coming <laughs> uh, live to see me out there and I'm I'm in fact really really excited because I love to perform on stage it's my most favorite part of my profession being on stage more than anything else yes. trust me and um, I think the energy that I get from uh, the audiences while I'm on stage nothing can compare to that so um, I hope that the audiences there are also very very energized and energetic and uh, you know uh, welcoming of us which I'm sure they will be but uh, yeah so I just can't wait to go there. Much is being spoken about Noor your upcoming film you know so would you like to say a few words on that? Of course it's something that uh, I'm really really excited about because uh, I think uh, Noor as a character has been closest to my heart so far because she's a very very relatable girl. I connected with her immediately while I was portraying her and I feel a little bit of Noor is in everyone, it must be in you and the people watching and anyone you know so she's, she's a very very real character so I'm, it's one film that I'm really looking forward to and the director that I worked with Sunil Sippy I think he's got um, he's really pushed me to my limits to you know extract a good performance so uh, I can't wait for it to be out there in front of the world. The Bang the Tour in Sydney is organized by Cinestar Events Australia and the Chocolate Room Australia. It is organized by Sizzling Productions and RS Promotions in Auckland, New Zealand. Catch the biggest stars of Bollywood at the The Bang concert 21st April Auckland, 22nd April Sydney and 23rd April at Melbourne.